It's been quite a while since the last video that I've done. I'm not talking tutorials. I'm talking one of these sit down and chat videos. Now this started, wow, about three years ago. And it started where I find myself now, back in Medikwe. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. So what I did the last couple of days, I've been in the park here for a private guiding, two back-to-back -back stints. And apart from a whole bunch of interesting thoughts and photographic stuff, which we'll talk about right now, I had a time in between the day to go and check some emails and I found an old email account which I was kind of not using anymore. And I found a whole bunch of comments from you guys from the previous YouTube channel. And wow, thank you so much for all the emails and comments on the channel. Apologies for not getting back to you. It's been a hell of a ride. Um, and also, I've been trying to swap old over the old Photo Africa YouTube channel over to the new Wild Eye one. But Google apparently doesn't allow you to do that. So, <laughs> I'm in the process now of trying to start the new one up on the, photo, on, on, on the Wild Eye side. And I'm going to try and link things across, so stay tuned for more. Uh, before we carry on, then, if you are watching this on the old YouTube channel, I'm going to put banners and stuff on the page with the new link. Please come and subscribe across, join us on the Wild Eye side, because this is something I'm going to be doing a whole lot of more of again, pick it up, because Phil, um, an American client that I had here last week, we had a hell of a time, and that's actually how he found me and got hold of me for guiding and the whole thing. And it's a wow, I mean, we like this. It's a great way to share and, and uh, um, get involved with content. So, yeah, come across and subscribe to the new YouTube channel. I'll have all the details up on both the blog and on the YouTube page below this video. Come on, join us on the other side. It's like the dark side. No. Anyway, um, as I find myself in Medikwe here, the Wild Eye team is pretty much spread across the globe right now. Jono is back in the office. He's just returned from the Masai Mara. Great week with some guests up there. And then Andrew is up there currently. Uh, on the Wild Eye Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash wild ISA. You can follow along or you can just use the migration2013 hashtag on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and you can get updates from all over the place. Now, I'm a Medicure here and it has been unbelievable being back. Uh, I spent about six or seven years full time in the park and that's why I got to know a lot of you guys initially. Um, so yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome to be back. And the, the sightings I have had in the last four days, well, seven days, eight days now, I have never, ever, ever had in this park. It's been insane. Now, uh, the intensity on the first week when Phil was here with me, we had our own private vehicle and we were just doing photography, getting stuck in on artistic things, techniques and so on, a whole different approach to wildlife photography. And wild dogs on a kill, cheetahs on a kill, and lions on a kill, fresh kills, all within a matter of three days. The light was good, the angles were awesome, and the images that came out of it was wonderful. But... Those you can check on the website or on the Facebook page. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. One of the things I thought, when I, let me sit down and actually do a video. So I've got my iPhone up. I hope I'm <laughs> framing this correctly. But from a wildlife photography point of view, I wrote a blog on the wildlife page a little while ago called something about two questions you need to ask yourself when you're out in the field. So a lot of people go out, they'll get to a sighting and just go, Grr, they shoot for the hell of it. Ask them, listen, what are you shooting? The answer is, I'm shooting the lion or I'm photographing the zebra, whatever the case is. No, wrong answer. Think about the question, what are you shooting? Are you shooting that animal because it's a portrait? Do you want to show the animal in its environment? Is there beautiful room lighting? The why as to why, the why question relates more to why are you picking up your camera? What is it about that scene that talks to you? Is it, is it the room lighting? In that case, that's what you're going to expose for. Is it the animal and the beautiful surrounding? Then you're going to pull back a bit and not zoom in as close. If it's the portrait, the old scarred lion's face, then of course, then you're going to get in close. Zoom in, use a tight grip, uh, tight grip, tight grip, I'm talking CrossFit, different story. Use a tight, um, use a tight lens, get in nice and tight and show the details. So once you can answer the why, you will know how. Think about it. If I know, right, I'm going to shoot a portrait because that's the reason I want to pick up my camera. Why do I want to photograph the lion? I want to show his scarred face. The how would then become, right, normally do a portrait orientation because you're going to get in tight. Check your depth of field, that you have enough space that should you focus on his nose, the eyes will also be clear. There's a whole bunch of hows then that come into play. If you're going to be shooting something with golden rim lighting, you're probably going to end up underexposing a little bit to drop the darks out to emphasize that golden rim lighting. It's all about exposure and contrast. Then, you can, you've asked yourself why you want to shoot a scene. You now answer as to how you're going to shoot the scene, but also it carries through to your post-processing as to how you're going to process it. If you're shooting a scene, it's, it's an elephant with a lot of dust around it, golden light coming through the dust and so on, you're not going to push the clarity up necessarily because that dream-like scene might ask you in Lightroom, ask you, artistically speaking, to put the clarity down, to enhance the dream-like feeling. 
You've got to carry that vision through all the way. So um, go check out the blog on the Wildlife page. And then, yeah, if you have questions, start, let's start this commenting thing again. Like I said, I found this old email address to which my YouTube account was linked. We are moving it across to the Wild Eye platform. Lots of interaction on Facebook. So find us there, find me there, join the adventures, and then, yeah, let's see if we can pick this up again. I love doing this stuff. I'm in the Mara from the 2nd of September with Mark Dumbleton. So I'll be trying to do videos from there, but I will also be on my Instagram, on Twitter, and on the Wild Eye Facebook page. So make sure you follow along for the updates. Uh, I think that's it for now. So, bottom line again, check out the change of the YouTube channel. Join me on the new Wild Eye channel, on the Facebook page, and so on. I'll have all the links for you below this video, and I look forward to hearing from you guys again. Flies, summer, quite getting hot. Anyway, my name is Jerry from Wild Eye. I will see you guys next time.